Well, it's Loudoun County, the Loudoun branch of the NAACP celebrated Juneteenth with the Freedom March and Unity Rally. Yeah, community leaders agree there has been progress, but continue to call for more change. Our Northern Virginia reporter Haley Mylon has a look at the reflections on this Juneteenth. We need to see more diversity in our schools, you know, from the top down. Lisa Mazago and her Zeta Phi Beta sorority sisters rallying with the Loudoun County chapter of the NAACP. So much of the morning focused on learning and taking action in the very county that just a few years back was ground zero for school board culture wars over the teaching of racial equity. Mazago says her own kids saw no black teachers in their Leesburg classrooms, so she took action. And that's one of the reasons why I also became a, a teacher, so that there could be more representation. According to the National Center for Education Statistics, only about 10% of public school teachers are black. Her children need to see us as well and to be able to connect. Taking lessons from the past. I had to work twice as hard as people of white people just to earn a passing grade in school. 87-year-old Josie Stewart, the first black assistant principal in Loudoun County. She says she came to the division only a decade after schools were integrated. It was the continuous racial discrimination battle. She says future generations must reflect on the past. You must position yourselves to be voices of change. A common theme in the messaging today, officials encouraging young people to get out and vote ahead of the Virginia Democratic primary. In Loudoun County, I'm Haley Mylon, DC News Now.